blank sheet of paper just to write. Knock on the door, wash my hands. Hi, I'm Kaylee, the nurse practitioner. Hi, I'm Jackie. Nice to meet nice you to today. Meet you. Um, Jackie, can I just get your date of birth quick? Yes, it is 3 8 of 77. Perfect. And Jackie, what brings you in today? For well check or yearly <laughs> physical <laughs> and med check. Okay. Perfect. No, I knew what you meant. <laughs> well, we can do it. We, we'll yeah. do a well check today. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay. <laughs> Do you have any concerns at all that you want to talk about today? Not really. Okay. Jackie, do you have any like drug allergies? Yes, I do. Okay. I have Steftamir. Okay. Augmented. Yep. Flu shot. Okay. And hydrocodone. Codeine. Okay. Are these all recent um allergies that you've had or in the past or had them for a while? It, I've had them for a while. Okay. Can you tell me what happens when you take stuff in here? I ended up getting C diff from it. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's not good. No. And then um, how about augmented? Just broke out in hives. Okay. And when was the last time, you, or when, when, do you know when you took augmented? Like a while ago? Um, when I was pregnant with Alexis. Okay. Oldest daughter, so a long time. Okay. Um, and then how about hydrocodone? I just didn't like the way it, I got really constipated and just okay. didn't like the cell. We just added it up. Okay. So we will start off with, um, talk a little bit about family history, okay. being that you're new to the practice. So when I say family history, like mom, dad, brother, sister, that type of thing. Do you know your family history? I know some of it. I am an adopted. Okay. So I was able to get a couple, some stuff. Okay. I yeah. know my dad has passed away. Oh. He had pancreatic cancer. Okay. Then metastasized to the colon and brain. I'm so sorry, Jackie, to hear that. Okay, my mom's been pretty healthy. Okay. For the most part that I know. Okay. Yeah, and that's that's okay if you don't know any other family history. That's totally fine. Um, what about like surgical history for you? Do you have any major surgeries? Yes, okay. I've had my tonsils out. Okay. I've had two C-sections. Okay. Three knee surgeries. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> Gallbladder. Okay. And hysterectomy. Okay. You have had the ringer. Oh, I'm for... a Oh, it... I'm guessing before the hysterectomy. Yes. Okay. Of course. Yes. <laughs> All right. So when you had two C-sections, how many kiddos do you have? I have four. Four. So I'm guessing twins. Twins, in there? yes, okay. twin boys. Okay, awesome. Then my last one I had had a C-section. First okay. one I. Okay. Gave birth. Okay, <laughs> naturally. Yes. Okay. Awesome. And then, um, what are like what medical diagnosis do you got? Like any significant medical history? Yes. Okay. And I have what's called BAM. Okay. Bilaterally malabsorption. Okay. I got that after having. My gallbladder out in okay. 2018. Okay. IBS. Okay. Fibromyalgia. Okay. Anything else? I don't think so. Okay. Are you being followed at all with like a GI specialist with your gallbladder yes. and with IBS? My gallbladder and IBS. Okay. Yes. And when was the last appointment that you've had with them? It was about six, seven months ago. Okay. Then with the BAM, I did end up going to Mayo Clinic oh, awesome. to get diagnosed, and so it was following up with them. Okay. And you're still following with them through Mayo? Not anymore, Okay. because it's been over five years. Okay. So I just do the local GI doctor here. Okay. Have you ever had, like, a colonoscopy? Yes. Okay. And when was your last colonoscopy? It was last year. Okay. I only asked just because over the age of 45, it's recommended to do yep. it every five years. And did they find anything? Yes, um, my first one, which was in 2018, they found a precancerous polyp. Okay. And then I, the one, my last one, they found one, but it was not precancerous. Okay. So we're just, just kind of. Kind of just monitor it every five years. Okay. Yeah, so you have about four more years before you have to have another one again. Yes. Um, when that time comes, we'll just go from there. Okay, sounds okay. good. Okay. Um, have you, so hysterectomy. Um, we'll just defer a pelvic exam today. Okay. We don't need to do that. Um, the smoke, do you smoke at all? No. Okay. How about drinking? 
like two or three times a, a month. Okay. And it's more social drinking. Okay, social. Okay. That's good. And then uh, the nurse should have given you forms for your depression and anxiety screens. Yes. Okay. And then we'll talk about that. So we'll okay. set that there. And then did you bring your uh, medication? I did. Lesson? Awesome. Thank you. Okay, so we'll just start at the top and kind of like work our way down. Okay. So you're on a probiotic. Do you take that every day? I do. Okay. And then you are on um, 200 milligrams of Celebrex. Yes, did and that was for fibromyalgia. Okay. And how do you feel? Like any side effects from that medication? Any problems with that? No. You feel like your fibromyalgia is well controlled? Yes. So no pain throughout the body, movement? Every once in a while I do. Okay. But... Is it more with cold or just? Yes, more with cold. Okay. Um, so you're on well cold, 625 milligrams for, I'm guessing for diarrhea? Yes. Okay. That was for the BAM. Okay. Do you take that daily? I do. Okay. Um, do you feel like that's been helping? Yes. Okay. Um, and then I see you're on trazodone, yep. um, 200 milligrams at night. Is yes. that, um, helping things? It does help okay. a lot. When did you get put on trazodone? About two and a half years ago. Okay. Any problems like troubles? Sleeping, staying asleep? Usually not. Okay. And then do you feel like when you wake up well rested? I do. Okay. Yes. Great. Um, and then you're on a Famtidine, 40 milligrams. Do you have like a diagnosis of GERD? Yes, I do. Okay. I'll add that to your list. Um, do you feel like that's helping? It has helped okay. a lot. Any like side effects? No. With that? Okay. No. Um, and then you are metformin of 500 milligrams daily. Yes. And what are you on that for? It was basically a weight loss. Okay. And do you feel like that's been helping? Yes. Okay. I see your <clears throat> BMI is 38, so it's still what we considered like obese in the category. But from your previous records, it shows that you've lost some weight. Do you feel like you've lost more since then? Like you're continuing to lose on the metformin? Yes. Okay. Any. Like, I know it's hard because you have IBS, yes. so metformin can cause like GI upset, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. It has those, all those unpleasant side effects. Yes. So I know it's probably hard to gauge, like, is yes. it really the metformin or is it really, you know, your IBS and BAM problems? Um, when did you start that metformin? About two and a half years ago. So right around with... With everything kay. that was going on with my GI. So. I wasn't 100% sure at first it was bad, but it has gotten much better. Good. Okay. Um, more any, controlled. More yes. controlled. Yes. <laughs> any issues with like liver at all? Yes, I was diagnosed with fatty liver. Okay. Um, but they've never done, they just found that on an ultrasound. Okay. I had an abdomen ultrasound. Okay. But no, no biopsy? No biopsy. Okay. Are you being treated for fatty liver with anything? No. No. Okay. Well, okay. So what we might do, we'll do labs today for your liver, like okay. an AST, ALT, okay. and just kind of see where that is at. And if those are elevated, we might explore like your iron and your ferritin, and then maybe consider doing like a biopsy okay. too on your liver. Um, but that's a little bit further down the road. Yeah. Um, just kind of talk about a little bit of a plan. Too with right. that. Yeah. Um, you are also on dicyclamine, 20 milligrams. Um, IBS. Yes. Yes. And do you feel like that's helping? Yes. Okay. And then um, belazidone, 40 milligrams for depression? Yes. Okay. More anxiety. It was more anxiety, but. Okay. And do you feel like that's been. That has helped tremendously. Okay. Are you seeing like a mental health yes. professional? Okay. Yes. And when was your last appointment? It was. About six, seven months ago. It was last year. Okay. And I only have to see her once a year. So. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Okay. We'll make a note of that. And it looks like your um, PQ9 that you filled out here was only a four. So that's great. We're, we'll just keep monitoring that. So any like new thoughts of like suicide, depression, um, feeling more down than usual, just having trouble getting out of bed. Those are all like really warning signs. I would like you just okay. call our office um, and just kind of let us know. Mm -hmm. And then we could try to maybe reach out to your um, mental health provider too um, and to see if we can get you some help okay. and if we need a dosage adjust that as well. And then your GAD is zero. So, I mean, I'm not super concerned yes. with that. <laughs> um, you are also on vitamin C and D. Yes. And you just take that daily? Yep, just take that daily. Okay. And then melatonin when needed? When needed, yes. Okay. How often do you normally take melatonin? 
A lot of times I'll take it with when we go on vacation because I have trouble falling asleep, especially when we're on vacation. So Yeah, it's usually because you're probably like really excited. Yes. Okay, that's totally fine. Um, and then you have an asthma inhaler. So do you have a diagnosis of asthma? Yes. Okay. Are you following up with like pulmonology? Yep. Okay. And when was the last time we saw a pulmonologist? It's been over a year. Okay. Do you have a, a, a the one I was The one I was seeing was reta- or left. Oh. Because he was just an intern, so he left. And so okay. just trying to get into. Okay. I have a referral sentence. So. Okay. Sounds good. Maybe we'll. <laughs> I've just been waiting and yeah, I haven't heard a call from them. So. Okay. Maybe we'll put in a referral as well, okay. and sometimes it can take two referrals to hopefully get you exactly. off. Exactly. Just so you can make sure we're managing yep. things appropriately. Um, <clears throat> when was the last time you filled your Simbacor and Albuterol? I just, um, was it a week or two? Okay. Like that. Okay. Um, how often are you using your inhalers? When I have a cold, that's when I use it, and every once in a while, like around the brain, Spring is when I really need it. Okay. With all the hay fever out, hay yeah. and out. Okay. Do you have any Fresh like cutting grass and all all the all the not so fun things? Exactly. Do you have seasonal allergies then too, Jackie? Yes, I okay. do. Okay. And do you take anything for your seasonal allergies? I just take over the counter. Okay. Um, like Zyrtec. 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 Yeah. Zyrtec. Okay. Are there any other like um, over the counter medications that you take? Um, supplements, natural herbs. Tylenol. Okay. When needed. Okay. That's basically since I'm on Solomar, that's the only one I can really take. Yeah. Take. NSAIDs are not recommended, um, as you know, just because of the increase of GI yep. bleeding with yes. that. Okay. Um, anything else that you take, like over the counter herbal supplements? No. Okay. That's good. And then your asthma action plan, I had you fill that out as well, and that looks good. Um, we'll just kind of monitor that. Any like shortness of breath? Wheezing, coughing, not on, for, not on a daily basis. Not on a daily basis. Yeah. Okay. Just when I know I'm getting sick. Okay. And do you exercise? Yes. Okay. Do you ever need? Do you use your inhaler when you exercise? No. Okay. And then Jackie, how often do you exercise? I try to do a walk at least two to three times a week. Okay. Awesome. Um, so the current guidelines is 150 minutes of physical activity every week okay it's a general guideline for like heart healthy and for weight loss so i highly recommend trying to get closer to the 150 okay there's new evidence too that shows that um like weightlifting can really help women that are like prone for like osteoporosis like later down the road so jumping into like light weights um swimming is a great uh, cardiovascular exercise yeah. too um water aerobics is also a good option as well. i used to do the water aerobics and now i just Okay. The times I have it, I during what I work and stuff, and now because yeah. I would do them on the weekends too, and okay. no longer have that. Oh so. shoot! So I've been trying to find. Yeah. To get did, back into it. Did you look at like BSC Aquatic Center? I have not. Okay, I would recommend checking there. I've okay. heard I have some patients that have gone there that have had like classes on the weekends. Oh. Okay. And now that the outdoor pools are open, they yes. are starting to add in like fun little fitness classes yeah. as well. So if you're interested in that, that's something that. I know that helped my fibromyalgia. Yeah, the pain and everything. Mm-hmm. So. And there's a lot of research showing that like water, just the therapy itself is just good for your overall okay. body um, for that. So if you can find that, that'd be great. I mean, if not, walking's great too. It's yeah. so nice out, especially just, today. Just, it doesn't even look like it's windy today. I know. Which is for once. For once. Exactly. Which has been really nice for a change. Um, let's see here. You, any, how's your, how would you say your diet is? I'm gluten free now. Okay. I started that about six months ago. Okay. Have you noticed a change in any inflammation? Yes. Okay. The inflammation has been way down from that. Great. How about dairy? Are you still on dairy? I'm still on dairy. Okay. Do you feel like dairy bothers you? Sometimes I know I can tell. Okay. If I have too much. Okay. Would you be interested, like based on your BMI and some of like your gluten free and some like dairy issues, would you be interested in like potentially meeting with like a dietitian at all? I would love to. Okay, I will put a referral in for like okay. a dietitian so you can get um just meet with them, figure out if we need to change, tweak anything. Exactly. And then we'll do labs today too. Okay. And so if we, you know, depending on what we find, we might we'll send those over to the dietitian okay, too so to really help you have like the best possible health outcome. 
which would be nice. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So Jackie, based on everything, we're just going to do like a quick assessment okay. on you, if you're okay with that. That's fine. Um, for the purposes of this video, since you had a hysterectomy, we're again, not going to do the pelvic exam. That's deferred. But if you've ever have like, um, oh my gosh, <laughs> discharge, foul smelling discharge, anything like that, those are things that are not normal. Um, please report and just give us a call okay. as well. And I'm assuming you're married. How long yes. you guys have been married? It'll be 24 years in July. Okay, well, congratulations. Thank That's you. awesome. Yes. Are you guys doing anything for your anniversary? Not sure yet. Might go on our family trip. We're just trying to plan with yeah. schedules. Yeah, I'm sure it's hard, but that's awesome. Um, okay, let's go ahead and I'm gonna listen to your heart okay. notes. And we'll kinda of start at the top and go Sorry. down. Yeah. Any like headaches, vision changes? No. Something like that. Do you wear glasses? I do. Okay. And it's main, well, mainly for when I'm at work and oh. the computer. Okay. Um, when was the last time you had an AI exam? That was two and a half months ago. Okay. And no concerns? No concerns. There. Okay. Any concerns with like itchy scalp, hair loss? No. Anything like that? Okay. Any issues with hearing or, or hearing loss, I should say? No. Okay. Um, any, how about smelling? Like any problems smelling? No problem smelling. And any problems tasting anything? No. Okay. Sounds good. I'm going to just go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and okay. look in your ears. Where's the otoscope? up and back your ears are like really clean which is good yeah i'm gonna sneak on this side <laughs> pull your ear up and back oh sorry i didn't <laughs> i noticed you kind of got a mole on this side of your ear back here that's Kind of like, do you know, have you ever seen that, that you've had, I don't have a mirror, but there's like a mole right here. Yes. Okay. Have you gone to derm at I all? I have. You have. Okay. And they've been kind of a lot. They take pictures every time, every, every year when I go to okay. see them to make sure it's not growing and. Great. When was the last time um, you went to derm? That was like a year and a half ago. Okay. I'm just going to make a note until we can just put it in your chart so we can just also just kind of monitor okay, it too. So if you can't get into derm for whatever reason. We have a picture of it. Okay. It would just put that in there. I'm going to look up your nose. Your turbinates are good. There's no redness, no drainage or anything like that. Okay. So I'm just going to check your, how your pupils react to light. Okay. So you just look at me. Good. Good. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> I sometimes people get kind of like dizzy. Any yeah, dizziness no, with no that? Dizzy, no. Okay. Next time I'm just going to have you kind of like check your ocular gaze. Okay. And so I'm just going to have you follow my finger, okay? If you have dizziness, lightheadedness, or like anything like that, please let me know. Okay. Don't move your head. I know it's so hard. So this is just a cardinal, um, six cardinal gaze in the field. I know that one's kind of like tricky. Good. Any issues? No. Okay. Your eyes look great. There's no bouncing. They're not crossing. Anything like that. All right, next we're gonna look into your mouth and, all right, I'll just pretend that this is like a tongue blade, but it's not, I'm not gonna stick this in your mouth. <laughs> okay, can you say ha? Uh, okay, you, uvula rises just nice and neat, so that's good for your cranial nerve. Okay, can you stick your tongue out? Yeah, and you smile. Okay, and then when was the last time you, did you go to the dentist, I should say? Yes. Okay, um, when was the last time you went to the dentist? It was a month ago. Okay, awesome. And then I saw that you work at a dentist's office, so. Yes. Nice, so you can probably just sneak in yes, for a they, clean. Yep, they sneak us in when, yeah. Okay, great. Next time we're just going to feel like your lymph nodes, any like lymph node concerns or thyroid issues nope. that you're concerned? Nope, nope, nope. Okay, so I'm just going to start here. I'm okay. just going to feel your auricle lymph nodes and just kind of palpate your lymph nodes all the way down that jawline. Sorry, I'm going to kind of like reach into your clock. That's not right. Yeah, your lymph nodes feel good like that okay next i'm going to do like check your thyroid so i promise i'm not going to choke you but i'm just going <laughs> to put my hands back here and i'm just going to have you i'm going to feel your thigh like okay go ahead just feel your thigh. perfect and just swallow good 
I don't feel any like goiter or any nodules there as well. Your hair is really cute, by the way. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. I cut it. I donated to Brave the Shave. Oh, awesome. So, Good yeah. for you. How many inches did you cut off? Eight inches. Holy. That's awesome. Good for you. Okay. Next, I'm going to go ahead and just listen to you. Um, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to do it over your clothes. Technically, you're supposed to do it underneath your clothes um, just so we don't get any of those like extra hook sounds. So we're going to listen to your heart first and then I'll listen to your lungs. Okay. All right. Over, I'm gonna just listen to your carotid arteries. Okay, good. I don't hear a brewery on that side. I don't hear a brewery on that side. Okay, I'm just gonna listen to your lungs. Okay. You can take a deep breath for me. Good. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Good. Take a deep breath. Good. Technically, I would also like to listen underneath your breath, but because of this video, I won't. Next, I'm going to listen kind of, I'm going to have you lift your arm up. Take a deep breath. Good. Just really check those lower bases for you, too. Good. Good. Okay. Now I'm going to go on the back side and hold center your lungs. Okay, take a deep breath. Good. Take a deep breath. Good. One more time. Good. Any shortness of breath or anything like that? Nope. When you do that? Okay. Great. I'm just gonna kind of turn that a little bit that way. Okay. Um, so next, um, any like breast changes or anything? Like I did. I concerns. had my mammal boat. I had my mammal in March. Okay. And they found two areas concerns, and so I ended up having to do a breast biopsy in both of them. Okay. And they both turned out benign. Okay. Great. Um. So do you have um Have you been ever been tested for like the BRCA gene at all? Yes, I don't have the BRCA gene. Okay. But I have what's called the PALB2 gene. Okay. And there, it's something new that they're doing research on. So. Okay. Yes, and I've heard of that. And so the current recommendations for that. Is a mammogram for six months and then six months later do an MRI and you just flip flop those yes. to monitor that. Um, for this video, we won't do like a breast exam um, per the guidelines, especially for this gene. It's so hard when you have fibr like fibrotic and fibr breast. Oh, and I have fiber. Yes. So it's so hard when you yes. are really starting kind of in the back up that tail of Spence and like working your way forward to the front of those ducts that it's so hard, I'm sure. Yes. to tell the difference. Um, do you have any current like lumps or anything like that? No. No? Okay. So something to just keep an eye on. Um, you can always come in and we can always like okay. check if you do. I would still at home, like when you got a shower, you can try to, if you feel like you're putting a bra on, you're like, oh, this is new. Just kind of make, take note of it. Okay. And if it's getting bigger, definitely give her office a call. Okay, and then we might have to just like further work up to make okay. sure that it's more fibrotic than okay. anything like that. Um, next we're going to go, I'm going to listen to your belly. Okay. For the purpose of this video, I can't lay you on a table. And so technically for like abdominal inspection, we would look at like your belly, the contour of it. So we would say like protundant, um, round, and then I would go ahead and I'll listen to your bowel sounds. And then from there, I'm going to do light palpation and then moderate palpation and then deep palpation. Um, and then I'm going to like kind of percuss your liver, just check liver size, just because you have those elevated liver enzymes okay. as well. And then kind of feel that if that's kind of abnormal, then I would draw your liver. Okay. To make sure we don't have like anything like that. Okay. Does that make sense? That makes sense. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and listen to you. Okay. 
You must have had a good lunch. I did. What did you have for lunch? I had some chicken strips. Checking if we had no blood in the stool at all or anything nope. like that. Okay, sounds good. So next I would like pel I would palpate and feel around, do some spleen. Do you still have your appendix? Yes. Okay, great. Next we'll go ahead and kind of like work our way down. I'm gonna feel your pulses while we're just sitting here as well as part of the cardiac exam. So I'm just going head to toe. Okay, present. That's good. Yeah, nice strong pulses. Nice, good, real strong pulses. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and feel all the way down on the popliteal okay. pulses down here. Any like pain or anything tingling in your feet? No. And look, your last A1C was good, but we're going to still check that okay. today as well. Okay, next I'm going to have this fibromyalgia. We always want to talk about like pain, anything like that. Can you go ahead and put your arms out? I know it's kind of hard to put that. Put your arms above your head. Any pain like that? Nope. Okay, sounds good. Put your arms down. Okay, are you able to stand up? And how to stand up? Okay, are you able to stand on one foot? Good. And then stand on the other foot? Good. Any pain at all, like no. in your hips, knees? I know that you're right and you've had three surgeries. Yes, so there's so, always pain. Okay, like when you say always pain, is it just constant pain or is it just kind of always had that? Kind of just had it. Okay. And if I spend more time or if I don't wear proper shoes, I can really feel it. Okay. In my knee. Okay. Um, have you and weather change, that's when I really can tell. Maybe a little bit of arthritis yes. maybe going on in there. Um, have you seen like an orthopedic at all recently? I have. Okay. And just kind of watching. Just kind of watching. Okay, great. And I see your, your ankles are swollen a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, do you work the Russian stockings at all? No, I do not. Okay. You have like two plus pedicure edema. Does it normally swell towards the end of the day or as all day, Jackie? More towards the end of the day. More than I can see your yeah. hands too. You don't really have swollen on your hands either. You do have a few bruises easily. Yes, very easily. Very, very easily. Yeah. Okay. We well, have some petechiae in here. Did you get your arm on this? No. No. Okay. 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 But we would do one here, we would do one on your radialis, and then we'll do one on your knee and popliteal as well, and check those okay. for being intact. Um, next, we'll have you do, is I'm going to have you stand, and I'm going to have you stand with your eyes closed. Okay, can you put your arms out? To the side? Oh. <laughs> okay, close your eyes. Okay, touch your nose. Touch your nose with your other hand. I almost said your right hand, that was not correct. <laughs> okay. I knew what you meant. Okay, sounds good. We'll go ahead and sit down. Um, perfect. Okay, so Jackie, a little bit about the plan. Everything looks good. Sorry, dear. Okay. Everything looks great on assessment-wise for you. Um, what I'm going to recommend is we're going to go for what we call fasting labs. Okay. So tomorrow morning, <clears throat> call, we'll call today, um, get a lab appointment set up, and then tomorrow morning you can go for labs. I'm going to check like a cam panel. So like potassium, your glucose, um, I'm doing A1C because you are on vitamin D and we live in North Dakota. Yes. Most of us women are deficient in vitamin D. We just want to make sure we're not okay, at a toxic level. Okay. Do you know the dose now that I'm thinking about knowing the dose of the vitamin D? Not a hundred percent, no. Okay. That's okay. Yes. We'll get that checked today. Okay. Um, and then we'll do a CBC to look at blood work. Um, and then to make, look at like how, what your blood's doing, your white blood cell count all of those okay. types of things. And then we will also do a thyroid um, panel okay. as well, like a TSH and a free, th a free T3 and a free T4 as well on there. And then we'll also do um, like cholesterol okay. today for you as well. So we'll do like a lipid panel as well, okay? What questions do you have for me, Jackie? Concerns? Nothing really. Okay. Sounds good, Jackie. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. Yes, nice meeting you. Nice to meet you. Thank you.